Hello everyone. This week's video is going to be installing a fan on a Dometic refrigerator and uh, some other modifications to help uh, get them to cool off a little bit better. Um, some of this we're going to do in the garage. Uh, I There's three different ways that you can install these fans. And I'm going with the most preferred way that people do it. And I'm going to actually put mine on the back of the upper vent. So I'm going to show you how I am going to put it all together and all the parts of the kit and everything. Okay, so this is what the kit comes with. You get the fan. You get the thermostat. You get a bag of wires, nuts and bolts and brackets and all kinds of miscellaneous hardware. Plus you get the directions. Now this kit was uh, $65 I believe and I got it at an RV repair store. Okay so today's installation we're going to put our fan on the upper vent of the refrigerator. Now. What we want to do is when we take this vent off, we want to make a note of where the chimney is in here. So then what I'm going to do is to keep my orientation, I'm going to put a piece of masking tape on the vent where the chimney is so we can locate the, where we want to put the fan at on here okay so we're back in the garage we've got the vent and this is actually the inside of the vent up there's our masking tape so we know the chimney is on this side so we want to place the fan on this side so what we're going to do is we're going to line it up on the fans or on the vent things and that right there is where we're going to put it so now I'm going to drill a hole here and I'm going to drill a hole here because I'm going to bolt this to the vent okay so we have the holes drilled in the in the vent I also drilled one right here we're going to, you're going to see what I'm going to do with this one here after a bit. So now the next step is to put the fan on the vent. Okay. So the next thing I did is I put the screws through from the underside to the screws. And then I also put clear silicone right there. Now this will help hold the fan and keep the vibration down so now we're going to put the fan on but you want to make sure of which direction this fan has to turn for the air to go out i hooked it up to a 12 volt battery and put a mark on the side so that i know that the air comes out this side of the fan so what we'll do then is we'll just go ahead and we will put this on here Okay, and then we'll go ahead and we'll top it off with some nuts and some flat washers on the top here. And we'll go to the next step. If you look up in here, you can see the fan up in there. Now I painted the heads of my two screws and the washers black so that they kind of blend in up there. We tightened up the nuts on both sides. And I also put silicone on them to help hold them so they don't vibrate loose. And also, at the bottom, I did not put screws in. I did, however, put a bead of silicone to help kind of glue it onto the vent. And that will help with vibrations also. So following the directions on how to wire this up, we have the wiring completed. 
I used zip ties to help hold it onto the vent cover. That other hole that we drilled over here is where the thermostat goes. And it's just kind of hanging out here in the air. And that's what senses the temperature to turn the fan on. Now, the only thing we need to do is we need to test this to make sure that it works correctly. So I have it hooked up to a battery. And since I don't have the refrigerator in here, we're going to stimulate it with the hair dryer. Okay, as you can see, it did turn on by heating the thermostat. And now my air comes out on this side. Why I was at the hardware store getting some hardware the other day, I did pick up a longer piece of wire. Um, I want to run it down and I actually want to put a switch in someday to turn this on and off so that when it's sitting I can turn the fan off but for now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to wire it into the 12 volt junction block that's in the bottom of the refrigerator now the other thing is with this with this modular setup like I've got I'm going to put uh, connectors on the wire so if I ever want to take this vent out for any reason I can unplug two wires take the vent, the fans, everything out. They're out of my road so I can work on the refrigerator or clean it or whatever I need to do. That's kind of the reason I put them on the back of the vent like I did. So right back there, that white thing is the power connector. And that's where I'm gonna hook up my power from my vent fan. So the next thing we wanna do is we wanna check the polarity on the plug and make sure which wire is positive and which one is negative. So we will go ahead and we will try it this way. And that shows a negative 13 volts. That the black is actually the positive on this. So we have the block put back in. We have our pigtail on it. Now we're just going to check to verify the polarity is correct. And we do have voltage coming out of the pigtail. Okay, so we've got our vent fan all put together. And all we have to do is to put it in and plug it into the pigtail. And then it is ready to run. Now there's two other things that will help make these refrigerators work a little bit better. And we'll go ahead and we'll go out and I'll show you a couple more of them. So what we need to do is our fan will be in this area here so it will pull the air out. However, where the problem is, is this space between here and here. Now what will happen is air when it flows takes the path of least resistance. So our main objective is we need to cool this. So the first thing that we need to make sure of is we need to make sure that everything is sealed up good inside the refrigerator compartment here in the back. And then once we're sure that everything is sealed up, now we need to fix this. So what we've done now is we've actually put this piece in, which is a baffle. Now what this does is it blocks this space here so that when the fan up here pulls, pulls the air out, it actually, the air has to go through the fins because this is blocked off. Now, when you put your baffle in, you want to make sure that you stay away from, keep it away from the chimney area here because that does get hot. But basically, you want to fill the space in between this coil 
and the side of the camper so the air has to go through the coil to come out and that will help cool this coil which that is our main objective with this fan now I took the baffle back out the third thing that we want to talk about is we have our baffle in we have this all sealed up good and we have our fan the next thing that we need to make sure of is that this is clean cobwebs in this refrigerator will definitely mess it up and the reason it messes it up is the cobweb will change the airflow so through this coil and all the coils down through you need to make sure that you keep it swept out and keep it keep it clean now I made my baffle that I can take it out and also with my fan and everything being mounted on my vent cover when I take the vent cover out I take the baffle out then I have nothing in the road so that I can clean and maintain my refrigerator so today is the first day of the test uh, I started the refrigerator on 120 volt a couple days ago and got it cold last night about four o'clock five o'clock I switched it over to propane so it's went pretty much 24 hours on propane this is day one with the stock camper 24 hours after we lit the propane on a refrigerator outdoors is 88 degrees inside the camper is 98 degrees let's see what the refrigerator is inside it looks like the refrigerator is about 48 degrees today is the second day yesterday after i took all the uh readings on all the temperatures i installed the baffle and i hooked up the fan so it would run so we went 24 hours with the uh, baffle in and the fan running so let's take a look and see if it did make a difference or not today the outside temperature is 89 the camper inside temperature is 97 now let's take a look at the refrigerator and see what it is it looks like it is about 40 degrees today it definitely feels cooler in here today is day three I thought I'd try something a little different with this test and see what happens um, we checked our temperatures yesterday and then after that I turned the AC on and left it run all night to uh, try to keep the camper cool and it did so let's take a look and see if that uh, helped our temperatures any so today it is 87 degrees outside and it's 71 degrees inside the camper and that's with the AC going now let's take a look at the refrigerator inside the refrigerator it looks like it's about 34 degrees and um, it's actually cold in here so there you have it installing the fan some modifications some maintenance and uh, some testing um, I hope this helps you out uh, my opinion is does it make a difference yes I think Putting a fan in does make a difference. Um, I think both modifications that I did did make a difference as far as it cooling better. The only thing you need to remember is the fan that you're using to cool the refrigerator runs off the 12 volt battery. So if you're boondocking, that fan's going to be pulling um, power out of your battery. So it's just something you want to think about. I hope you liked the video. I hope it helps you out. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.